Hello, and welcome to this video lecture for the University of Connecticut's online course, Classics and Ancient Mediterranean Studies 1103, Classical Mythology. I'm Roger Travis, Associate Professor of Classics at the University of Connecticut, and whether you're enrolled in this course or not, I hope you enjoy the lecture and learn something about new ways of looking at classics and at myth. Thanks for watching. Now I want to explore the idea of a story exploring what it means to be a story inside the story with the help of a clip from the wonderful movie The Truman Show directed by Peter Weir. What you're going to see in this clip is that the movie is what we call thematizing the movie. It's telling us about what it means for the movie to be a movie and that in turn has a relationship to a Rudy thing, a cultural truth value that I think has a great similarity to what's going on in the first book of the Odyssey. We've become bored with watching actors give us phony emotions. We're tired of pyrotechnics and special effects. While the world he inhabits is in some respects counterfeit, there's nothing fake about Truman himself. No scripts, no few gone. It isn't always Shakespeare, but it's genuine. It's a life. I'm not going to make it. So you can see that the director Peter Weir has created you was with him on all night for comfort. You're crazy. Has created a kind of joining. For me there is no there is no difference between a private life and a public life. My my life is my life, is the Truman Show. The Truman Show is a lifestyle, it's a noble life. It is a joining between the outside and the inside of the story. Right, Help me one thing, though. If I die before I reach the summit, you'll use me as an alternative source of food. It's all true. It's all real. Nothing here is fake. Nothing you see on this show is fake. It's really controlled. We'll see that the bards of the Odyssey actually do something very similar. There are two things that I want you to take away from this clip from The Truman Show. The first of them has to do with the name of the main character, Truman, a name which the writer of the movie, I think, chose very, very carefully because, of course, it means that this character of Truman is about what it means to be a true man. And that, in turn, I think, interacts very interestingly and nicely with the concept of the Andra that I introduced in the Odyssey. Just as Odysseus is a true man, not a divine figure like Achilles, a real man who needs to get home using his human skills, Truman in this movie is shown to be a regular guy who is caught up in somebody else telling the story of his life. Odysseus too, as I'm saying, is caught up in somebody else telling the story of his life. And when in book one of the Odyssey, we see Phemius the bard of Ithaca singing the story of the uh, of singing the story of the Achaeans' bitter homecoming, what we're seeing is in the Odyssey exactly what's going on in the Truman Show. That is, we watch 
a person's life becoming a story, and we think about what it means, first of all, to be that person, but then also what it means to be us, because very often we feel like, and here's the truth value, the Rudy thing, very often we feel like we're in a story, and we'd like the story to be different than it is, or we'd like to be able to manipulate the story a little more. Just to connect the dots on what I mean about the Rudy thing, we're talking about a cultural truth value. We're saying this is something that people in our culture within our society believe to be true about our lives. That is, that our lives are like stories in a certain sense, and that we should try to control them. Being a true man, that is, being an Andra in the terms of the Odyssey, is somehow about trying to control your story, and very often, as we see both in the Truman Show and in the Odyssey, not managing to do it, not managing to control your story the way you'd like to. The second thing I'm hoping you'll get out of the clip from the Truman Show, which looks forward to material from a bit later in the Odyssey, is the way that Truman, the character played by Jim Carrey, even though he doesn't know that his story is being told in this television show called The Truman Show, nevertheless is narrating his own life. That is, he's pretending to be this mountain climber in an adventure story with the cannibalism and all of the disaster um, and this feeling that he needs to dramatize his life. And I think that that's something we also see in the Odyssey. That is, it's not only that the Odyssey itself wants us to become aware that it's aware, that is, the bards of the Odyssey are aware that they're telling a story about this guy Odysseus, but also that Odysseus himself feels the need to tell his story, that it's very important to him to control the way that he sees his life as a narrative and the way he wants other people to see his life as a narrative. In the same way that Truman pretends to be this mountain adventurer, Odysseus wants to make sure that everybody knows that he's a hero so that he can be sure that he's a hero.